definitely. The internet's a really big part of just being in an independent band, definitely. Yeah, it gives you the power to do it yourself. You don't have to rely on anybody else. You can make your own CDs. You can distribute your own music. Yeah. You can do everything yourself and everything. take complete control. So it's really important to us. Oh, yeah. A lot of DIY bands aren't too worried about what the industry is really trying to do, you know. Seems like you could, you might sell a little bit less, but like it's easier to get your name out there now. So like more people have access to your music on stuff like Spotify or the internet. So more people can listen to you so you could kind of progress faster. But uh, yeah, you do end up selling less records, so. Um, yeah, as far as streaming services, I mean, a band our size, it only benefits us more and more. Um, a lot of people, you know, we talk to a lot of people who are into our band and they found us on Spotify or they found us on even, you know, Facebook for that matter, you know, just related artists browsing, that kind of stuff. It's, it's an important thing for a band like us, definitely. And if they buy one shirt, one record, one anything, then that's that, all that matters to us. That made up for it. Yeah. Why is vinyl coming back? Because, <laughs> because it's not perfect. And yeah. Like a lot of kind of some music that are coming out now, they're kind of like garage rock and like really raw music and they sound great on vinyl because vinyl is not exactly it. So it's warmer, it's got a better feel. Oh yeah. And it's just like the art's nice and big. Oh yeah. Art looks great <laughs> on it. <laughs> Definitely, that's one of my big things. It's like the artwork, everything mm. just means so much more in like a vinyl packaging. Um, yeah, definitely. It's just it's a new it's kind of a new age with vinyl now, which is kind of weird to say, but it's uh, definitely a really cool thing. We love it. We all buy records. And it is a records. it's an odd time for it to come back though, because like the internet's so big and it's so easy to get it every other way, and yet the probably the best way to listen to music for most people or the way most people like listening to music now yeah. is kind of difficult. Like yeah. you have to flip the record over and <laughs> do all that. So it's almost inconvenient, but it's great. <laughs> Definitely. My twin brother plays drums, so I always find myself, you know, eyeballing him and just messing around with him on stage and stuff like that, but uh, I'm pretty much in the zone. Like, I, I don't know. You just kind of feel it. You don't worry about it too much. You don't focus on anything. You yeah. just do your thing. Yeah. You know, we've been doing a little bit more touring and stuff like that, and like, just playing the songs now, it's just like, it is second nature. We just, you know right there we just we know what songs next we know where it starts you know it's nothing like just feels right yeah it just feels right do the damn thing start if you want to get into music it's not too crazy I mean uh, yeah I mean I started super young my parents luckily my dad's a musician and he kind of showed me the ropes for that um, but it, I mean he did the same thing he didn't force it on us he didn't make us do anything like that he was just like hey here's this if you enjoy it you know pursue it and that's what I'm doing. It's pretty crazy. Really, I think the most important thing is just to get out there and do it. Play shows. Be horrible. Yeah. Um, mess really. up. Blow a couple of shows, and you'll learn from it. Yeah. Like you'll it. learn more from the worst shows you've ever had, and you will remember those than you will from some of the best shows you've had. 